Gogi Big Taconite is taking a step closer to what could be one of the most lucrative iron ore mines in Wisconsin. We're kind of excited to be on the ground and moving forward with the project. They're drilling and digging at least 500 feet into Pinocchio Hills rocks, looking at the chemical makeup and potential environmental issues to provide information to both supporters and opponents. Allow them to make their arguments, but the arguments will be based on fact, where right now the arguments are based on, you know, conjecture. GTAC officials tell us they have already had violent run-ins with mining opponents. They came out of the woods uh, all dressed in black, with turban kind of things wrapped around their heads. They say so far protesters have tried to break and steal their equipment, attacked a worker, and displayed other threatening behavior. They were threatening their lives, they were threatening their homes, they were threatening their kids while they were attacking them. The Lakota Ray Harvest Camp is located near the potential mining site and is just one group strongly against the project, believing it will have harmful environmental impacts and kill off food eaten by the reservations. The native has no option. We have reservations to live on, so. We have to stay here, so losing is not an option. But camp officials say the protesting incidents are isolated events done by another group. None of my people have gone there to protest. Instead, they are taking a nonviolent approach with education and legal action. To let this go over and hash it out in court. With photojournalist Harry Baker, I'm Maya Holmes, KQDS Fox 21.